Hello everyone, my name is Seth and today I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory on Server 2008 and so we're going to go ahead and get started I'm going to go ahead and um, install a new server uh, via um, virtual machine that I'm using and Server 2008 and then we'll go through step by step on how to um, set up Active Directory so obviously you boot off the CD and you're going to hit next and this is um, this is all very straightforward too, very basic. So uh, you know we're just going to choose the defaults and accept all the defaults for these. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, set up our server, and then after that we'll go ahead uh, and install uh, DNS. So I'm not really going to talk during the installation portion of it. Um, I'm just going to click through, and then once the server is up and running, then I'll go ahead and uh, start the microphone, and we'll go through the rest of it. Hi, and we're back. All right, so now that the uh, server is up and running, it's asking us to log in, create a password. So we're going to go ahead and uh, create a password. Okay, good. It's going to log us in. And initially when the server comes up, it's going to bring up the initial task configuration window. There you can go ahead and set the time zone, the IP address, PC name, so on and so forth. As you can see, the initial configuration task window comes up. The time zone, we'll just check that real quickly, make sure everything's okay. All right, that looks okay. We're going to click on uh, configure network. What we're going to do is we're going to go in and uh, change our IP address. First things first, what you need to do is give this a static IP. So you need to have a static IP, all right? Um, I'm going to uncheck uh, uh, TCP IP version 6 because we're not using it. Um, 4 is enough, good enough for us. Yeah, unless you're using, uh, on your network, IP version 6, then you leave that check mark. But since we're not, I'm going to uncheck it. I'm going to double click on IP version 4, and I'm going to go ahead and give this a uh, an IP address. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, obviously you're going to have a static IP ready for us for this. I'm going to type in my static IP. And for the DNS server, because we don't have a DNS server yet, I'm just going to go ahead and um, leave this portion blank. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to go ahead and close this off. All right, so now what we need to do is um, we need to go in and uh, give this server a, um, a proper name. So we're going to click on Change. I'm going to call this. Windows 2008 domain controller one you know, whatever you can call it whatever you want click OK all right it's gonna say you must restart this all right let's go ahead and restart this all right so now it's uh, it restarted it's locking back logging back in all right so I'm gonna go ahead and hit control alt delete We're going to log back into it. All right, so uh, we're logged back in. And this time, what we're going to do is now that we have a static IP, we have a uh, its own computer name, we've configured the time zone. Now we're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to uh, add the DH, uh, the Active Directory and DNS role. This server is going to use the integrated DNS. So we're going to go ahead and click on add a role. It's going to go through you know, so, uh, briefly because this is a uh, 
because this is a uh, test environment that I'm showing you this, this in, uh, you would definitely want to go ahead and download and install updates first. Make sure you download all the updates, uh, have your server updated and ready to go. Okay, once you do that, then you're going to click on add a role. I'm going to skip this portion because obviously, uh, you know, we just built the server's uh, test lab. Uh, we don't care about the updates um, because it's not going to go into production. But if in real life, you definitely want to go ahead and download the updates, all right? So uh, say for, for our example, we've downloaded that. We're going to click on add role. All right, so once that comes up. All right, so once that comes up, we're going to have our uh, role wizard. We're going to click next. And here we're going to click on Active Directory Domain Services. All right, now what you can do is either click, go to add a role within the wizard, check mark this, and hit next, 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 and let it install. Or you can just click on start and go to run, and you can type DC promo right from here. And what it does is it checks to see if you have the Active Directory domain services um, role set up or not. If you don't, then it's going to automatically install it for you. You can do it both ways. I want to show you the, you know, the proper way. You know, they're both proper, but you know, I just want to show you the 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 way that it's suggested. We're going to click on next, and we're going to hit next. And it says once this is done, then you after this you have to install, you have to run DC promo. All right, so let's go ahead and click on install. It's going to go through and install the uh, the domain services uh, files. Okay, so it went ahead and installed the the uh, the service. And everything the installation was successful. We're good. We're going to click on close. And as you can see down here in the roles, that's what we have. Okay, so now we can run DC promo. So we're going to click here and I'm going to type DC promo.exe. It's going to start the uh, service. And as you saw that there quickly, it said checking to see if the, uh, the roles were installed. And at that point, if it wasn't installed, it'll go ahead and install it for us. But in our case, since it was installed, that's why this um, wizard window came up rather quickly. So we're going to click on next. 